the articles in the newspaper here just kind of underscore the fact that for every single one of these incidents that's reported on, there are families who are affected. There are people who are killed. There are children who are killed. In Stockton, this morning, at uh, early this morning, a 16-year-old was, was shot and killed. This happens daily. We are aware of the things that happen when there are mass shootings, but we kind of forget the fact that there are families, dozens of families every day that are impacted by gun violence. As Judy said, the, the record has supported us in the past. We've seen pictures of our events, we've had articles printed about our vigil, but this time we think that the record took a wrong step by saying that this is not the time for us to do anything other than mourn. We're tired of mourning. We have written on our brains and in our hearts the names of our own five Cleveland children who died in 1989. And these things keep happening. I also want to address the fact that um, what's largely responsible for the huge numbers of, of, of mass shootings are military, military style assault weapons. In addition to strong background checks, we want to see that military style assault weapons uh, are removed from, from the hands of those people who shouldn't have them. We also would like to see that large capacity magazines are removed from the hands of people who should not have them. This is a time for action. This is a time to call Congress. This is probably the closest we'll come that we have come in the past several years. We feel that there's a sea change coming and there are two bills before Congress, one in the Senate and one in the House that need the support of all the citizens. They need phone calls, they need letters, and they need the hearts and the passion of people like us who are here standing on the street corner and all the people who are thinking about the victims at home. Those people like Nikki mentioned who are going to be, who are going to be thinking on Thanksgiving and Christmas and birthdays of the family members that we've lost.